to stop the launch of the new type of nuclear warhead, Snake must use the detonation code emergency override key at the underground maintenance base up north, or destroy Metal Gear itself. Snake fights Liquid's Hind D on the roof of Communications Tower B and defeats it, and gets to the snowfield north of Communications Tower B. However, Sniper Wolf is waiting for him. After beating her again, Snake and Otacon stay with her until her moment of death. Snake heads for the entrance of the underground maintenance space north of the snowfield. Hello everybody, I'm Neon Icy Wings, and we're continuing our adventures here on Shadow Moses Island. Let me just put on my level 6 key card. Okay. Cameras. Potentially. I'm gonna look around these areas because... Ooh, stuff. Do I have a chaff grenade? I have one chaff grenade. What do you, that just looks like ammo to me. And really, I'm not willing to sacrifice my final stuff just for that. But yep. Rest in peace, crazy lady. I've finally gotten over your boss fight. Still think it's terrible. Well, that's rude! How was I supposed to know? They changed the rules so much. It's just like, oh, we're gonna have claymores. Ah, we're not gonna have claymores. Also, I find it hilarious that they have diazepam here. Why? Why would you need diazepam here? Because it's just like, the only reason to have diazepam is if you are going to be using the sniper rifle. But the sniper battles are over. So unless they're gonna throw in more, and was that the only building? It's entirely possible that that was literally the only building that has those claymores to hurt you. That is weird. Kojima, you are being weird. That's the one problem with, uh... Uh... Let's hope those are chaff grenades. Yeah, there were chaff grenades. Lots of chaff grenades. I'm getting more ammo. Mm. But I don't get I don't get the point of having just those things there to stop you or the claymores there. <laughs> it's like I kind of get it, kind of don't. Oh yeah, did I look in here? Or was there like a turret? Seven. That's probably the way forward. I'm gonna quickly scout down this side because yeah, there's more buildings. Rations are always worth it. Cardboard box C! Yay! More cardboard boxes to get confused about. Where does this one take me? Where could it take me? Oh. I guess that makes sense. Though, is there even a truck to you? Hold on a diddly dang moment. The other places make sense to have like, oh, to this place for quick travel. Because there are guards there. There are people that are going to be in the truck. Who's going to be in this truck and who's not going to know? In fact, how would they not notice Solid Snake walking around the truck? But I don't know. I'm just going to make sure not to put on the cardboard box also. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's just like, how did I not know there was a truck there? Because that's why. But now that we've looted this place, got a decent bit of rashings. Yay. Still don't know what the cold medicine is for. Like, maybe if you stay out here too long, it's like, Oh, Snake, you were out there too long. 
because of that. You're going to be sneezing now. You need to get some cold medicine. Doubt it, but at the same time, this is stinking Metal Gear. You never know. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, it's just like, I wanted to make sure because I distinctly remember a, a pathway of cameras similar to this. Yeah, like a pathway. Don't play that. That makes me think that I failed. Oh, insert disc two. Okay, makes sense. And switch discs. <laughs> the system uh, will switch this to if there's no prompt on the game, you might not be able to continue gameplay. It better diddly dang take. Press the start button after inserting. Okay. I'm, I am, I, uh, from the looks of it, that won't do the weird PlayStation 3 thing where it just cuts off the the video. So this makes me uh, assume like uh, that other places I won't be able to go back to. Still, who is the final Kodak? You caught Snake? Yeah, I want to save. But that makes me think. Um, will I be able to go back to the snow field? I mean, they gave me a stinking cardboard box right before In this. China, they say, the snake knowing itself strikes swiftly. It means that if you have confidence that what you are doing is part of your true nature, there should be no hesitation. I don't know whether your orders are in your true nature or not, but Snake, believe in yourself. Hmm. Also, for some reason that reminded me, apparently you can grab people from behind? It's just rather wonky. Okay. Let's take out this dude. I could. S Which way are you going, asshole? Where are you going? Damn it. The moment I stepped out onto it, I'm like. This is bad road. This is a place of evil and sin. But it's one of those moments where it's just like, I have fucked up now. But yeah, he, was ba he had to die. He had to die. There's no way I would have gotten around him with these stinking clinkety-clanking things. Huh. Cool, cool. If I let go, I probably die. Oh. I did not see that. That is all on me. And this time I'll shoot the guy in his stupid face before I touch the metal gird ears. Die. Stun grenades. Is that implying that I'm going to have to be stunning to lots of people? Hmm, let me take a glance across. So yeah, there is another walkway over there that I could potentially get to if I, like, stealth along that and then duck. I'm gonna try. Wish that the camera had a better angle for this. Duck! You bastard! <laughs> you know! You know! Hey, it's the mouse. Master told me about the mouses. It is to trust the mouses. Is he coming up here? He better not. Don't you dare. Don't you dare come up here, or I'll kick your derriere. Oh, he's going down, I think. It's like, this is one of those games where it's just like, just let me say where I'm going, please. All right, 
get their rations, but and because the dudes have pathetic eyesight. Sucks to be you. He's going to be coming back. Oh, he's going to patrol down here. Well. When he patrols down here, he's going to get shot in the back. I could try the grabby thing with Mr. Grabby Hands. Damn it. I don't see how you can actually grab in this game. Stupid wall, only blocking some of the bullets. But at least there's only one way they can come. Damn it. I noticed that I am dying, so now my friends know that I am dying. Okay, so at least there does seem to be at least some logic to the genome soldiers, where if they notice that they're being killed, before they die, they alert their friends. It's just like, I died here, come kill my killer. So... I guess there's some logic. Maybe. <laughs> Jesus. The dust is getting in my nose. And I actually don't see any red dots down there. And I don't see anybody, so yeah, I get free run of the place. Booyah. But I see... Uh, I see something. Why is it a darkness? Why is there darkness? Torture. Uh, am I going to... Uh, am I really going to have to use the Niketa missiles again? Where the hell? Turrets. Well, luckily for you, I have a bunch of chaff grenades to use. Mm. Eat this, suckers. ba 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 de -yammer. Bada bada baby, bobbity boobity bobby bee, bobbity the bee boo boober, bobbity bobbity bobby bob bob bob, uh huh, body armor. The only problem is, you have to keep it equipped like this, which makes sense. But there are other things that are helpful during boss fight or like uh, fights in general. Like, um, you're, uh, like, apparently I learned also, if you just have rations equipped during fights, and you take enough damage where it takes away all your health, it'll automatically use a ration. It's just like, is this is one of those games where it's like, there's a bunch of clunk surrounding it, but there's so much genius as well. There is a lot of genius. Snake, Leo DeRocher said, win any way you can. Nice guys finish last. What about you, Snake? Is that what you think? Is there anything that you wouldn't do to stay alive? You should think about that, Snake. Do not give your soldiers, like, some sort of, uh, I don't know, like, uh, existential crisis while they're trying to disarm a nuke-throwing monster building. This isn't creepy at all. I hear the elevator. And the inevitable monsters, it's going to... Damn it. There's nothing on it. If elevators have taught me anything in video games, the moment I get on that, 
ninjas are going to jump on it and try and kill me. And these bullets are not reassuring me. The body armor that I got is not reassuring me. Famous bullets. Body armor. Bring it on, motherfucker. <clears throat> okay, uh... Obviously. Box. Okay. Uh, what? Oh, maybe I need my key card. Sorry, it needs at least level six key card. Um. Are yeah. Uh, is that just a box? I assume it's a box. I'm trying to think. Mm hmm. Um, do I have a. Another key card that I need to use? Take the PAL key! Oh! It actually was the PAL key! The moment it goes back to. Knew it! <laughs> Ninja people jumped on. Body armor time, bitches. Body armor. Where is my body armor? Ah, oh, there is my body armor. Ow! That's my job. Ow! Why are my punches not taking precedence? Yeah, your bullet, your punches take precedence, so screw you. Also, thank you, body armor, for giving me a little bit of peace of mind. Though I don't think the body armor helps from getting punched. And if I may echo myself after the first sniper wolf fight, where did you come from? Well, I'm freaking here. Wibble warble. B -b -b bullshit I didn't even get to see anything and it's just like thing you know what I'm gonna take other things I've learned yeah you know what yeah I'm going to destroy you because no you do not get to say like ah, ha, ha, you don't get to know all these things I get to know everything and you know it Oh boy, another elevator. They literally put a turret there specifically to do more damage to you before another fight. That's rude. That is very rude game. Rude! <laughs> Why? The other places make sense. It's like, ah, oh, you have to be on the lookout. It's like, <laughs> Uh, why? They're just random claymores. Why is it just random claymores? Why? Just random claymores. Like, I guess I should have been on the lookout for that because of that one room, but still. That is rude game. And they're just at the back wall, it seems. Mostly at the back wall. Don't know why the claymores don't set off if you just lay on top of them. I'm just gonna quickly change to the PAL key. Correction. I'm going to scan this to make sure there aren't any claymores here. Because it wouldn't make sense to me. 
but I don't trust you, game. I'm losing my faith in you as an ally to me. How dare you? And now the people will jump down again. Stop, there he is, even though we literally couldn't be there. Are they gonna subvert it? Is this going to be the peaceful elevator ride of happiness? Raven. Hello! If Raven's gonna be a common. Raven's gonna be a common. Punch the birds. Screw the birds. They're enemies. Birds are the enemy. Are they gonna... Snake, I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? What? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay, what's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. I thought yeah. it was the colonel that said going that. undercover to investigate the mafia in New York. That yeah, she said, yeah. It? it was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied. She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. She didn't well, know her father, back didn't then, she? there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But... Weird. Check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja. Too many strange things are happening. Are At the same time, I attribute some of that it? to the government. I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. <laughs> Thank you, Master. You are such a nice guy. Yo, Campbell, what the hell? Colonel, where's Naomi? I'm right here, Snake. What is it? Oh, uh, nothing. Forget it. Strange. Snake, it's strange. by now those terrorists have finished their launch preparations. Stop wasting time. Uh, let's talk to Meryl. Oh, yeah, Meryl's captured. Uh, Natasha, what do you got? That is a FAMAS. It is a bullpup-style oh, okay. assault rifle. It is durable and easy to use. Very resistant to overheating. It is a reliable weapon with smooth action. It can fire up to 1,000 rounds per minute. On full auto, you will empty a 25 round magazine in a few seconds. Ooh. Oh, let's call Otacon. Otacon, I like you. Help, uh, uh, what do you guys say? If you take that elevator down, you'll wind up in the warehouse. Metal Gear's underground maintenance base is just past there. We're getting near the crows. end. What? There are a lot of crows here. There were crows around from before, but for some reason they started to really increase in number around the same time that Foxhound came to the base. It's really Because weird. of Raven. I wonder what it could mean. Raven. Though I I have been watching uh, another guy's uh, Galm's playthrough of this uh, after I get to certain parts. I was just like, I get to a part, then I watch Galm's playthrough of that part. And it's just like, whatever happened to Decoy Octopus? <laughs> yeah, he's a member of Foxhound, isn't he? I don't like this place. Niketa missiles. On one hand, I feel like I should trust the game for giving me some stuff, but at the same time, the game kind of screwed me over when it's just like, use these to, uh, use the, uh, chaff grenades to get around, uh, 
I'm gonna save because I'm paranoid. But get the ch use the chaff grenades to get around Gray Fox's invisibility and stuff. When all that did was uh, slow me down. Hmm? She's fine, I guess. What's up? Oh. What do you want, Snake? Oh. If you want to talk to Naomi, why don't you call her? Oh, it's nothing. Forget about it. Strange guy. <laughs> like he said, the legend cannot be overmatched by the actual him. Good luck, Snake. Thank you, Meling. Probably should have put on my body armor. Punch them. Punch them, Snake. Welcome, Cossack. This is the end of the road for you. Right, my friends? Listen, they agree. How dare you kill my friends? Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? You must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> but that was no true battle. <laughs> Oh, so hide and seek. We're testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? That's creepy. I can't move. The raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah. Uh. Your ancestors, too, were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. <laughs> you jest, but indeed ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska, too. You know of the World Eskimo Indian Olympics? Yeah, I know it. You must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, you are <laughs> right. But there is another <laughs> event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there is iron in your words. Well, time to run because he has a giant fuck-off gun. And he has a wide range. Alright, this is where the Niketa missiles come into handy. Damn it. Ow, my bad. Damn it. I don't like this guy. He annoys me. I gotta put on my um, body armor for now. No, it's body armor. It's a. I'll keep using the. Fuck. Well, apparently the Niketa missile isn't the way to go.
I will be a little bitch. If I must. I don't like that he's going faster. Come on out. Hmm, there are boxes up there. Okay, this guy's. <laughs> okay, well, I. Whoa. The one downside is that he has such a long range of sight, so it's hard to get a drop on him. Also, where they can look behind him rather easily. Oh, those boxes are dropping. Always. Okay, yep, Claymores is definitely the way to go. Oh, I ran into my own Claymore. This is such a cheap way to win, but it's just like, screw you, you have a giant fuck-off gun. Granted, this does kind of match, like, the tone of the battle, it's just like... Oh, he wants to get me? That... <laughs> you want to get me that way? Let me quickly put on my thermal so I don't actually run into you. Ow. Okay, I thought there was only one way for you to go. Apparently not. Let me quickly ration. And body armor. I'm just going to now put... Claymores at all of these. He's going to run into one of them. <laughs> that was so cheap! This was the easiest boss fight just because just like... Just as the boss said, <laughs> you're a moron. Assistance, which is no longer needed in this world. You're kind of a cool guy, but, but you're kind of a moron. My body will not remain in this place. My it will be eaten by my friends. My flesh will become one That's what he means. Okay, I, I was joking. That way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you, understand? Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes. Fade out? Fade in? Oh, we're gonna learn about the DARPA chief? What's the truth behind the DARPA chief? chief? It was Decoy what? Octopus, a member of Foxhound. Oh. He was a the blood was... Disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. Oh. The Angel of Death. 
<laughs> well, that's hilarious. Now we figured out what happened to him. But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. At least we figured out how Decoy Octopus died. Snake. In the natural world, there's no such thing as boundless slaughter. There's always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no peace. Hear me, Snake. My spirit will be watching you. And he's gone. Not even the bone. Well, let's see, who's calling? Snake, it's me, Master. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? <sighs> Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then, who is she really? She must be some kind of spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's Weird. been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed. We don't us. have any proof. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing. Yeah. Here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. Ow. Well, I guess before we go on, we're going to call everyone. It's like, hey, what about Decoy Octopus? And uh, then we'll check out and see if that key card is a level 7. And if it is, we'll go back to that level 7 thing at the top. If we can. I don't know anything about Dr. Naomi. So there's not much I can say. But Snake, I think you'd better leave that to Colonel Campbell. Don't you think you'd better just get to the control room? Well, that's also true. What about you, Natasha? You found body armor. It will lower the damage you take from gunfire. It is designed to prevent bullets from penetrating, but you will still feel the impact from the bullets. Don't rely on it too much. Of course, of course. Yo, master, what do you got? Snake, I'm sure that woman calling herself yep, Naomi you said is this. some type of spy. And now I'm starting to think that Campbell might be hiding something too. Don't trust him. At the same time, you seem a little too trustworthy. Snake, if it's about Naomi, I'm looking into the matter right now. Give me a little more time. Alrighty. Where is she? She's still sleeping. I can't believe it. First, the DARPA chief turns out to be an imposter, and now Naomi. What the hell is going on here? 
I suppose you're going to tell me you don't know anything, right? He knows nothing. Sorry, nothing. Uh, a madman is threatening the world with a nuclear weapon. I guess that's what I should worry about now. I guess I'll call Mei Ling, save and everything, and then check everything. Blah, blah, blah. Naomi wasn't acting strangely or anything? No, I just can't believe that Naomi's an enemy spy. I refuse to accept that. I don't want to believe it either, but... Don't say it, Snake. Welcome to war, kid. Everyone hates you. I don't like those Indians. They're sad. Let's check and see. It is a level 7k card. Ah. And because we went ahead and saved, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make my way up to the top. Man, they made quick work of him. Like, more than likely, this is meant to be a, uh, get out of the base, everything's blowing up. Oh, yeah, we probably can't go back up. Oh. We can. And what does it say? Something's frozen? What do I have that could be frozen? What? I have a half a mind to punch all of you motherfuckers for freezing my rations. Freezing my goddamn rations. We all just go ahead and jump cut to see what's in that one place or if we can even get out of here. What's going on? Stinger missiles, nothing much interest. That's disappointing. Oh well. Wait, what am I doing? I can get more trap grenades. <laughs> 